Clever Tricks, you a bad motherfucker. What's going on there, guys? My name is Chris, and if you know me, you know Clever Tricks, because you know I follow him. And hopefully, one day, if you know Clever, you'll know me. Boo! So, this has got to be the best knifing class I have ever used. Never before have I felt so confident and even overpowered, I'd, ha I'd have to say overpowered, in my abilities with this class, it's unheard of. I mean, when I first started, uh, when I first played Black Ops, the first class I ever used was the Naked Combat Knife, uh, no perks, no nothing, and uh, I, I had... I had mixed results, and sometimes I would say I had crappy results even. Um, but and I, I retreated to my uh, ballistic knives. Uh, I loved the ballistic knife, Black Ops One, and uh, and I felt confident with the ballistic knife because I had a uh, a mid-range, uh, yeah, a, a mid-range safety net almost. But um, if I had to play, you know. I, I, all right, I'm gonna play both sides of this. This class is awesome because it takes out all the bullshit and variables. Flashes, shock charges, grenades, not Simtex. Oh yeah, Simtexes, Claymores, Bouncing Bettys. Takes out your ability of, of stumbling around or any fall damage. And it really brings it right down to the core principle. It's just you, your knife, and your tomahawk, and when he sees you, or when you see him, that's it. I think it's a fair knife, you know, a fair battle. I don't care if they're using an SMG. I feel it's a fair gunfight. I feel confident enough with this class that you stick someone in front of me with a retard finder and a SMG, and... I got about, uh, it's a 50-50 shot who's coming out of it. Eh, long range or, or your mid range game, you know, I found out you gotta be one of two things. And I'm just playing devil's advocate here. You need to either be clever like a fox, which we aren't all, or you gotta be spot on with your tomahawk. And I've been feeling pretty good with my tomahawk lately, maybe a little bit too good, because, um, I've been doing trying a lot of bank shots and a lot of jump shots and a lot of half, you know, map length, you know, bank shots and shit. And I really miss having scavenger. Um, losing those, you know, your throwing knife or your your battle axe, it really leaves you exposed, it leaves you naked to uh, a lot of mid-range gunfights. Um, yeah, you know, I do miss having scavenger, but I was taught a long time ago. You have to be disciplined with them. You know, you have to, you miss a shot, you got to go get it. <laughs> you kill someone, you got to go get it. Because, you know why? If, if, if you don't, you're screwed. You're naked, basically. Now, lucky for all of you guys, I got a great tip video coming up in a day or two. Um, it's, I, I know there's a lot of people that know it. But, you know what? Sometimes we all forget it. And I don't know, maybe it's a community secret. I'm not 100% sure. But you know what? It's gonna, I'm gonna guarantee you this. It's gonna put 50% more tomahawks in your pocket. And it's completely legitimate, and it's gonna blow you away. So you guys subscribe. Uh, I think I'm gonna upload it tomorrow. You're gonna love it. So, moving along. Um, I will be revisiting the ballistic knife shortly. Uh, I want to play around with this class a little bit more, but I enjoy ballistic knife because it gives me a great mid-range game. Um, I always, I, I've loved the ballistic knife in the first Black Ops, um, and the only problem I have with it so far in this new Black Ops is it doesn't seem quite. The, the knife doesn't seem to travel quite as far as it did in the original Black Ops. I haven't been having a very good long-range game with the ballistic knife. Um, uh, trying to, I, I've been trying to pick off head glitchers with it, but I haven't been having very good results in that aspect. And I feel like I start becoming a little too, um, uh, 
what's the word I'm looking for? Reliant on the ballistic knife rather than my tomahawks. And I've just been having so much good success with the tomahawk that I don't, I'm not sure if I want to switch over. I'm not 100% sure. So keeping it moving along, uh, we're about halfway through this gameplay. And I had a, quite a few different clips or different uh, gameplays that I had to choose from. Um, the one before this was really weird. It was on Carrier. And I came across my first PlayStation 3 Black Op 2 hackers. Uh, these guys were running around with like these bright orange halo looking helmets and guns and it it wasn't helping their game I mean it was pretty much a slaughter on that game too um, and I found that like as this is probably the third game out of five or six that uh, I was just trying to capture um, since uh, theater mode still down um, I just been running my uh, my PVR constantly and I think after this game, I felt like this game was fair, um, that the other team had, you know, they had a sporting chance. Um, oh, wow. Let's see. Bank shot. Oh. oh, I think I picked this game because this uh, I made my bank shot challenge on this game. And, uh, yeah, I was happy about that, so I picked this game. But... Yeah, the next game after this, we were on that boat, um, the SS Minnow, and somewhere along, the host migrated, and then it really, it's just, it was just complete noobs, complete bambies in the lobby, and, you know, they were just trapped. I mean, I felt like I was, I felt like I was at a petting zoo just slaughtering baby calves. Uh, they were just, by three minutes into the game, they were so scared shitless that they were like huddling in the cabins, you know, the second floor cabins on the boat. And they were just running from side side of the boat to the other side of the boat and all grouping up inside these cabins, hoping to God that, you know, I wouldn't come in there. And I was just getting like four or five man feeds real quick and then running to the other side of the boat. And then they'd all be huddled up in there. By the end of the game, they were just, they were planting claymores at the base of their feet and just waiting for me to come and kill them. I mean, it was sick, you know, I, I felt so bad. And I don't, and I don't know, um, this, uh, I guess, skill-based uh, matchmaking, for the most part, I feel like it's been working out. But I think once you uh, start getting into a couple different host migrations, it, it starts running into problems there. So the gameplay is going to be quickly coming to an end. Uh, stick around, check out the final kill cam. You'll never see a kill cam like this again in the rest of your life. And uh, your homework? Get out there and sharpen up your blades. And let's all show clever tricks that the knifing community is strong. Especially my PS3 brothers. All right, You're in a lobby and you see a, a knifer in there. You don't shoot them in the back. You get out there, you, you take out your blades, and you start blading. Because uh, that's going to be my next commentary. It's going to be turning regular matches into knife-only matches. Alright, so uh, thank you for watching. And I'll catch you all on the other side of my blade. Someone Peace. Killed you. By clicking on the screen, uh, it'll take you directly to my channel. From there, you could uh, join the clan, subscribe, or get in touch with me in a million different ways. Thank you for watching, and you have a good day.